we are really down to the home stretch in the 9 by 9 Ken Ken with no operation signs um, from mathmojo.com slash Ken Ken. It is the 26th and final step. If we look in the, there's only a few rows and columns to get. If we look in the seventh column, we'll see only a two and a three are missing. I can't tell right away which is where, so I'm going to put them both in. And in this column, a 5 and a 1 are missing. Obviously, a 5 can't go in here, so it'll have to be the 1, and the 5 will go in there. That means if this is a um, 8, this will have to be a 7 or a 9 to make it an 8, right? Um, 7 plus 1 would be 8, and 9 minus 1 would be 8. We already have a 7 in that row, so this will have to be a 9. And a 7 is missing in this row uh, column then. It's the only one left. The 7 would go here. You notice none of those are precluded by anything in the rows or columns. So far it works out fine. This cage has to be a 15. We've got 7 and we've got 5, which gives us 12. We need 3 more. Well, that pretty much uh, solves it because we know then that this can't be the 3 here. So this must be the three up here. I'm going to write them big. Three on top, two on bottom. And six and one are the only things missing in this, col in this row here. But we already have a one in the column, so this must be a six. And that means this one over here must be a one. And if this is a one, this must be a six. So, six on top, one on the bottom. And the only thing that would be missing for, oh, well, uh, let's keep going in the train of thought we were on before. This three here, if we do our echo check, we see the three is now impossible to be up here on top. So this must be a seven, and this must be a three. Let's write them in, three on the left, Seven on the right. If that's a seven, then this is not a seven. It's an eight, which would make this a seven. So we'd have seven on the left, eight on the right. This can't be an eight then, if that's an eight. my eraser tool. Okay, this can't be an 8. So 48 will be 8 times 6 with 8 on the left and 6 on the right. What's missing? We have a 1, we have a 2, we have a 3, we have a... F we don't have a 4. It's got to be a 4 in here. That means this must be an addition problem which would make this, because we can't, 6 times 4 is already higher than 12. So without even looking up the rows and through the columns to see what's missing, it would have to be a 2 here, because this would be 10 plus 2 is 12. And we've done it. And I thank you for your help for showing up, because if you didn't watch this, it wouldn't exist, because I don't believe that a tree does make a noise if it falls in the forest and no one hears. Uh, or no meaningful noise anyway. And you made this meaningful by watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'd like to watch some more. I'm going to be starting a site, um, a membership site for a very, very small fee at mathmojo.com slash kenken where we'll be doing more of these. And But we'll be having a community with a forum and you can comment on every single step and give your own uh, better uh, hints than mine <laughs> and get better hints than mine from other members. Um, so go sign up at mathmojo.com slash kenken and leave your comments, talk in the forum, submit new puzzles, ask questions. Who knows what else will become of this? Maybe we'll have some teleseminars, but at least we should start a community of Ken Ken players who really give a crap <laughs> about uh, logic and meaning and having a little fun and maybe even just plain old diversion. 
Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again.